Since we last met, Mike has rebuilt the fuel system. Everything's good, everything's good. Here we go. Okay, here we have a little other, that's my bad thumb. Ha! She's kind of a... <coughs> I swallowed a bug. Hey everybody, Monkey Wrench Mike, we're back with another video on the very popular... Dun, 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 dun. Yep, it is the Disco Inferno, the car that went up in flames. I'm very excited about today's video because we happen to receive some parts that I think will get this car finally over the hump. I guarantee you this car is going to start in this video. Maybe. You really have to be kidding me, right? See all the little pistons? Right, it looks like snow. <laughs> I'm flooring a V12 engine. You thought this was going to be perfect, right? Why can't I, like, fall in love with a Lexus? Monkey. Monkey. Wrench. Wrench. Mike. Mike. Yay! I'm Nothing. in the car. We're being very positive in today's video because I received three different shipments. You combine all the parts that we received, and this old girl is going to start. What did we get? Well, we have some new little fuel injectors. Four of those things right there. You'll see I've got one attached. We're going to test it out. We have new fuel injector seals. This is very specific to the engine and the model. Uh, I had some other seals. They didn't fit, so I had to get the real ones. Thank you to FCP Euro. They sent me five. I just need four. Maybe I ordered one extra. I don't know. And... Inside my little green pouch right here, a new fuel relay, guaranteed to work. This resides right here by the battery. I took the old one out. It goes right there because I wanted to see if it was working or not, and I'm afraid it was on its way out. So this is going to start the car. I really think this is going to tell the fuel pump to start the car. The fuel injectors are going to allow the gas to get into the cylinders, and the fuel injector seals will prevent the gasoline from getting out of the engine and starting another fire. So without further ado, we're going to try the fuel relay first, okay? As we kind of open this thing up, it came from the very same car. The guy said it would work. He gave me a 60-day guarantee. Same numbers and everything else, just like on the one that I believe is faulty, and it literally plugs in... Oh, well, someone covered that port up. That's kind of interesting. Well... All right, I hope it works. Yeah, can't be any worse than the one I've got. Well, actually it could, but I don't think so. Okay, it's very easy to test these things out. Once you get this thing plugged in, all you have to do is give the car power and you wanna to listen to the fuel pump and then it's gonna eventually turn off. It's gonna pressurize the system. Ugh, if you don't hear anything, you're not getting any pressure to the system. So let's do that. You guys listen. We're going to listen for a little click and a little buzz, and hopefully this thing's going to start. All right, we're going to listen for some fuel pump activity. My neighbor stopped by and took a look at the car, had to tell him the story about the Disco Inferno. Let's just kind of see what's going to happen. I'm also going to look for fuel in my uh, catch bottle right there where that fuel injector is actually going in. So if you guys can kind of focus on that. There you go. I'll try to be still and let's hopefully have some fuel going through here. You ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. I hear the fuel pump. I just don't see fuel coming out yet. Okay. Well, I'm going to assume that the fuel pump works. Uh, it's just not pushing fuel. No, I don't know what I'm going to assume. Let's kind of back this thing up, and we're going to take a look at what we can do to fix it. I do want to go ahead and get the fuel injectors into the engine. Okay, here we have a... Well, other, that's my bad thumb. Here we go. This is <laughs> the fuel injector with the seal that other part stores will send you. Okay? This is the fuel injector with the correct seal. Now, on my old ones, there was a little plastic cap on this. I can't find the cap online, so we're going to go capless and hope that it works. But we'll get all 
three of these installed and then I'm going to leave this guy right here down at the bottom of the screen just to see if we can get fuel going through this to make sure we are getting fuel into the cylinders. Does that make sense? So there's no question. Okay, we'll do that. We'll get all three installed and then we'll put a seal right down here and then we'll come back in the video. We've had a little bit of a mishap. Yep, true to form, the 190E keeps on giving. Yeah, so we developed a leak in the back because I was just kind of poking around there just to see what's going on. This part came off of the fuel pressure regulator. Okay, this part started to leak. Well, all of this, these were all compression fittings and I don't want to wait two weeks and spend $150 to get another fuel hose that runs from the fuel tank down to the fuel pressure regulator and then on into the fuel filter or the fuel pump. So I went and got some parts. I don't know why Mercedes made this like a hydraulic line. Okay. It's not, there's no, it's not under pressure. So we have some fuel line to go here. We have some fuel line to go right there. I have all sorts of clamps and everything right here. And we're going to duplicate this. I couldn't find anything that would give me this, uh, 90 degree bend right here. Okay. Uh, so we're going to just kind of use the hose and hopefully it won't get too bound up, but this is going to be fun. I'm just going to use some clamps. We're going to make it just like it was before, actually better than it was before. And we're going to cross our fingers. I cannot wait anymore. I want this car to start. Would you please, please, please start? Oh gosh. Let me show you what's happened. Since we last met, Mike has rebuilt the fuel system <laughs> again. Okay. So we had another leak. We had another leak from my hose from 1985. So I took everything apart and I have purchased fuel line in the correct diameter and we're just using clamps. Okay. This was built. This was way over engineered. Okay. It was built like a hydraulic hose. This is just gravity fed. So there's no pressure here. Everything is just kind of being fed from gravity and then it's going to go up into the fuel pump. Then it's pressurized. Okay. Oh, oops. I see a leak. Dad gummit. Okay. Well, we'll address this one leak right there. Yep. We'll tighten that up and then we're going to show you what's happening underneath the hood. Yeah. Well, for the past 45 minutes, I've been tightening up all kinds of washers and switching out washers and changing the fuel pump back to the original new one, not the original old one, because I was worried about fuel pressure. Oh, I've dumped all kind of fuel all over the place. We are getting a ton of pressure. Okay. It's going down now, but I get about seven bar, which I think is way too high. So something could be clogged, but I watched a video on Kent Bergsmill where you kind of regulate the pressure right here. Instead of the return to the fuel tank, it goes into here. And if you monitor the pressure around three or I don't know, 3.5 bars or I, at this point, I've lost my mind. I don't know. I've watched videos. I'm just ready to give this thing a crank. So, we're just going to see what the heck happens. Okay. We're just going to see everything should be kind of tight. I'm going to point the camera right here, leave the microphone right here, and we're going to give it a go. And I'm going to have water just in case, because who knows it is raining outside. So I can always just let it roll down the street in a ball of flames. It'll roll down the street, but here we go. Are you ready for what is hopefully going to be the first start? Okay, let's lower the pressure to that, and we're going to see what happens. Maybe that's it. Right. That explains my whole day. That explains my whole day. So. We're going to take this out. We're going to put the one I rebuilt in. I'm tired of messing around with this. I'm going to burn it. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. See that you stupid effing car. I don't care anymore. You're going to burn. You are going to burn in Hades if you don't start. All right. This is the one that I rebuilt. Okay. It's out with the old in with the new. We're kind of charged. We're looking for fuel coming here that you can't see, but I'm going to check it. And we're just going to give the car a start. Okay. We're just going to walk in the car. No big deal. It's going to start. No problem. No prayers. No nothing. It's just going to start.
Okay, now we got pressure. Now things are happening. Now things are happening. Okay, this is it. This is it. This is it. This is going to be it. Come on, little girl. Here we go. Come on. <laughs> Stop, 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 stop. Okay, so what has happened? What just happened? We lowered the pressure and this, that you did you see it? You probably can't even see it, started to fill up with gasoline. So something is causing the pressure to be way too high. I don't think this car has a warm up regulator. I don't think so, but we're gonna turn off the fuel pump. We're going to reestablish our gas and we're going to monitor the pressure this time because I went down to three and things started to happen. So fingers crossed this is it. Hold on. We'll be back. So we're giving you a different view right now. This is going to get the spray. This white bottle is my return to the fuel tank line. I'm going to monitor the fuel pressure at about three if I can and we're gonna give her a start, okay? So let's just let's just say a little prayer. Oh, come on. And then we get to figure out why the fuel pressure is so high. Something's clogged. Okay, so let's do... That's five, four, that's three, five. Three, five. What's gonna happen? See, look. See? She's gonna start. This is it, folks. We done figured it out. Here we go. In three, two, one. Come on, baby! <laughs> Let's go down a little more. Let's just go down a little more. Nope, that's not doing it. Five? Nope. Nope. There we go. That's 3.5. That's the magic number. Well, that was close. That was very, very close. So let me kind of tell you what we did. As I said, we've replaced the fuel accumulator. We've also checked this uh, idle control valve. Okay, if you apply nine volts right here, there's a little cylinder right up in here that kind of twists open and close. It does. I've cleaned it out. It looks good. Everything's working there. This EHP, whatever this thing is right here, kind of just monitors. Once the car's running, this kind of monitors the uh, fuel mixture once it's running so i'm not really concerned about that i just think the pressure is it's just not where it needs to be so i've adjusted this i got about a millimeter of play maybe a little bit more right here you turn this which this probably should have been my first clue see how this is all beat up yep 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 so someone's been in here messing with the uh, airflow cap we're close we are so 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 close Let's do some more research and then we'll give her another start. Another try. All right, that's not what we want to hear. That is not something that we want to hear because that's how the fire started last time. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, God, Mike. Look. 
Yeah, that's not good. Woo! You should have heard my heart. She skipped a beat. All right, fuel pumps are pumping. We've got this at 60, almost 60 bars, PSI, maybe a little more. Let's increase this just a touch. Oh, shit. There we go. Oh, too much. There we go. That's what we want right there. Okay, and let's see if we got... See, we've got this going here too. So we're about 64 PSI. this just a tad. Seventy PSI. close we're almost at that was like 72 psi and she sounded like she wanted to she really wanted to That counts a little bit, right? <laughs> All right, she is kind of alive. Kind of. What can I do to make her better? What can I do to make her better? Let's just try this a little bit. That's another quarter turn. That sounds good right there. Oh, baby, come on. Come on. We're counting this as living. <laughs> She's kind of a... <coughs> I swallowed a bug. She's alive! Yes, 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 maybe. What the fuck <coughs> is wrong with her? Come on. Ta-da! Told you she could do it. I knew she could do it. No, I had no idea. I didn't know if she was going to do it or not. She needs a lot of work. We are definitely saying that she started. We're counting that because she ran for like 20 or 30 seconds. I stepped on the gas and she died. So we have a lot of fine tuning to do. But I still have to meter the pressure coming out of the distributor. So maybe off camera, I'll take this apart because maybe in the fire, this something got melted up here and that's why I don't know I just really don't know um, other things could be that I have read I have a coolant temperature sensor right here that came off I don't think that would prevent it from starting someone said it would 
I just don't know. I really don't know. So we'll look for another one of those. And we're going to charge up the battery. Say a lot of prayers. Be a really good boy. Hope you're listening up there. We're going to be good. And in the next video, we'll start and then we'll drive her down that driveway, up the street, up the driveway where the S500 is, into the backyard, so I can start really taking a look at her and preparing her for paint and giving her a little detail if she starts. That's the big thing, if she starts. So, yeah, and I know I have my coolant open here. It was just holding the gas can. Um, but I'm happy. In a weird, 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 upset way, I'm happy. So that's good, all right? Thank you for being part of the journey here with me. The Disco Inferno lives to see another day. She survived the crusher. She was literally that close. Yeah, you were this close, my pretty. And if you don't cooperate, I'll still send you there to the crusher because who else is going to want you? Who else is... No, I don't want to say that because that's what... <laughs> yeah, certain people say that in relationships and it's not a good thing to say. A lot of people love you. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. You're great. You're special in everything you do, like Barney used to say. All right? Okay, folks. We'll be back with another video. I don't know when on this car. Hopefully sometime soon. But thank you for watching. Please like. Please subscribe. Give me a comment and get me over that 40K mark. All right? Have a good one. See you later.